Hey guys, I'm in my car. I'm headed to a couple of stores to hunt down some physical media. I'm looking at getting some Disney classics like um, Robin Hood, uh, Dumbo, Peter Pan, things like that. And my first stop is going to be Goodwill. I know they have a small section of DVDs Blu-rays and VHS and I have all of those players at home and their prices range anywhere from like 99 cents and go up to about five dollars I think so I'm gonna go there see what I can find and then after that I'm headed to second and Charles and they have a huge collection you guys know if you have a second and Charles in your area but they're a great uh, resource because they have um, multiple versions of what you're looking for so um, sometimes they have like a box set or they have the individual DVD. It just depends on what you're looking for. So I'm going to go there. Their prices range from like $4 on up to like $20, depending on, like I said, if it's a, a special limited anniversary release or if it's a box set or whatever. So we're going to try those two stores. We'll see if I can find some Disney classics. Hi guys, I made it back from my Disney classic film shopping trip and I went to Goodwill. Here's some of my Goodwill purchase. I have my receipt here and I spent 24, almost $25 on these DVDs. So I got Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. The Little Mermaid, A Bug's Life, The Lion King, this one is a Platinum Edition 2 disc special, Peter Pan in Return to Neverland, Pirates of the Caribbean, and Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, which is not a Disney classic. But I got those and they were $2.99 each. And then for 99 cents, I found some VHS. And I got Aladdin and Toy Story because I do have a DVD player, Blu-ray player, and a VHS player. So I'm good to go. But I love these little classics. Like this is what my daughter used to collect. And it's just fun, right? And then I went to Second and Charles and spent 40. And they're a little bit pricier. So I'll put it in the video somewhere, uh, the price list for Goodwill. But um, Second and Charles, their prices range from $4.99 on up to like $19. So I was able to find Robin Hood. The Incredibles, Alice in Wonderland, the Un-Anniversary Edition, two disc special edition, Toy Story 3, Toy Story 2. So yeah, I and, and some of these were like seven and eight dollars, but anyway, 
I wanted to touch on why I'm doing this. So, um, I mean, it's my opinion. You guys are entitled to your own opinion. But for me, with the streaming service, right? So, Disney Plus and you know just all Hulu, all the all the streaming um, services that are out there, they they have all the control and i think that you know if you are a disney fan a horror film fan whatever genre you like i think if you hold on to your physical media it it allows you to own the films and to watch them anytime you want so let's say okay you know like they're gonna pull out of the vault. Um, let's say that they're gonna pull this out of the vault around Easter, and you know, otherwise it's it's locked up. It's not available for streaming. And so, what's to say if they don't just decide to attach a premium? So you're already paying for the service, and then I don't know, like with Toy Story, they're gonna around July Fourth weekend. So all of July. You know you can watch all of Toy Story but it's gonna cost you ten dollars extra that month just to be able to access these so I just see it as like they want to own everything and they want to have full control they don't want you to be able to uh, watch what you want to watch and so that's what I feel is very important and you know going to second and Charles I, I saw a lot of stuff that I had forgotten about so when my daughter was little she used to watch Cartoon Network, Disney Channel, Nickelodeon, and those, there's some shows on there that they're just not available anymore. So like Rugrats and Powerpuff Girls and what else did I see? Um, Race for Your Life, Charlie Brown. You know, these things were available back then and now you just can't watch them. So, but if you own them, you have them in your collection, you can watch them anytime you want, right? So I just see that as being the benefit is that you have the control of over what you wanna watch, when you wanna watch, and you pay for it one time. So once you own this, you, you just, you paid for it. Now a lot of you have purchased these when they first came out, so you're gonna pay a little bit more. Um, these are previously owned. I think one of these came from Blockbuster. <laughs> Um, so he's had a lot of wear and tear, but if you buy previously owned, you know, these are in really good condition and I, I, I have to clean them up, you know, I like to disinfect them and get them all cleaned up, but you pay for it once. So I paid $2.99 for, $1.99 for this. Was it $2.99 or $1.99? I can't remember. Um, at Goodwill and I won't have to pay Disney Plus or anyone else an additional, I don't know, four, five, ten dollars when they want to pull this out of the vault. So what I'm saying is, is if you own it and you have it in your collection, you can watch it whenever you want in the comfort of your own home. A lot of people are investing in movie theaters, you know, um, surround sound and all this experience at home. Invest in your collection because I can't remember the last time. I think the last time I went into the theater was to see the Barbie movie. A lot of people said, no, I'm just going to wait for it to stream. Okay, that's your choice. Um, I don't really go out to the theaters much. It's not that, it, that it's expensive, but it's you know, you have to plan for it. And I get that streaming is convenient. So you're, you're paying for the convenience, but who's to say that they're not going to start putting things in the vault and, and you just won't have access. So that said, um, I'm really happy to be growing my collection again, because a lot of these we had previously owned, but my daughter and, you know, certain family members just, just let them take the films with them um, when they left home and so now we're left with accumulating from scratch again so I, I'm just really excited to get my hands on some of the old classics and the ones that we really like to watch so that being said guys I'd love to hear your comments let me know what you're doing to actively um, uh, 
collect if you're collecting any kind of physical media and what do you prefer blu-ray dvd i know a lot of people don't like vhs and that's fine um I, it's really for nostalgia right like it just this is so fun i just remember my daughter opening up her her vhs videos and popping it into the vcr so this is this isn't going to be the bulk of your collection but it is fun to have these and my brother has a huge vhs collection i'll try to include some photos um i may have to collage them or something but he has a huge vhs collection because he's been collecting for a long time but what do you prefer you know do you like streaming do you do you want to own and uh utilize the streaming just leave a comment below. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.